Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Office Hours with Jess. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get more first author publications as a graduate student. So first, I do want to say that um, a lot of people ask me this question when they're applying to graduate programs. Do you need a first author publication or publications in general to get into PhD programs? So I want to just bust the myth that no, you do not need or absolutely need a first author publication or publications in general um, in order or to be a requirement to get into PhD programs. I think it only helps but doesn't hurt your application. So of course, if you have any publications first or co-authored, definitely um, that will be a plus for your application, but it's not like your application won't be considered if you don't have any publications at all. So don't let that be something that you use to compare yourself or your worth or your value or your success rate to other people, to other people in your cohort, to other people applying. That's definitely um, not a metric that I would use to um, you know, value or compare yourself to um, others. But now on to sort of, yes, once you do get into the PhD program, then it is important for you to start thinking more strategically about how to get some of these first author publications and um, really boost your CV that way. This was something that I was sort of told from the very beginning was to keep in mind that you do need first author publications um, to help you succeed. Um, and that's just one quantitative metric that people really like to use. Um, so I can proudly say um, that during my PhD program, um, I was able to achieve over 20 first author publications, uh, which is a lot, and I'm really proud of it. And um, I'm gonna give you some of my tips on how I was able to sort of navigate this space because I get a lot of questions, you know, how do you even get a first author publication or ask for one or, um, you know, go about, a, you know, finding first author publications and partnering with other um, researchers. So this is kind of how I went about it when I was a PhD student. So. I think first, mentors know, um, other professors know that graduate students need publications um, to kind of, again, move them along and help them become more successful. So good mentors will kind of already know this without you needing to tell them that you want the first author publications. They're going to be wanting to find opportunities to give that to you to help you succeed because that's what good mentors want to do. They want to see, see you succeed. So they already will have that as a goal for you. Um, next, I think it's important, in addition to mentors already knowing, it does take a lot of initiative on your side to make it happen though. So I would just also be very upfront and say that, you know, it is a goal. It's a training goal. It's a learning goal of yours to learn how to write manuscripts, to learn how to publish manuscripts and be first author on those manuscripts and make that a very clear goal to your mentors so they know that right from the beginning like you know if an opportunity does happen to come up where you can be involved as a first author or co-author they will bring you on and again it's okay to ask and say you know i am looking for a first author paper do you have any data that needs to be analyzed and written up. You know, a lot of mentors are sitting on so much unpublished data that they don't have the time to write up themselves. So they're always looking for um, graduate students, PhD students who are willing to do that analysis and writing for them. And sometimes you can even get paid for it too. So definitely don't be afraid to ask for the opportunity as well. And then I kind of touched on this, the writing component. So you also have to sort of take the initiative and be willing to be the one to write things up and sort of be the one to push the paper along. Um, I feel like I, I feel bad, but I've gotten over this feeling of, I sometimes feel like I'm constantly emailing, you know, my mentors or other authors on the paper. Hey, can you read this? Hey, like I, I need your feedback. Like let's get this paper moving. So it really does sometimes land on you to write the paper, draft it, send it to people for feedback, and you sort of have to take the leadership in that process and not be afraid to just 
write the manuscript without someone sort of like telling you how to do it. I have lots of other videos about, you know, how to write manuscripts, et cetera. I can link that um, in the uh, description of the video below. But it does land on you to start that writing process, take the leadership role, and really, um, you know, bring that paper from start to finish. Now, that kind of gives you an idea of how to get first author publications in general, but how do you get more than 20? Uh, so it's important, I think, to work with multiple mentors. You're not gonna get 20 first author publications in grad school by just working with your advisor that's assigned to you. You know, I would definitely recommend having your advisor introduce that um, you to their colleagues or other people they know in the field doing similar research. Um, I would reach out to sort of like partner institutions. For example, I worked with people at Boston Children's Hospital and Mass General. Um, they're affiliated with Harvard, but not specifically the Harvard School of Public Health. Um, and there are just so many researchers at all these other institutions who are also do doing similar work. Um, as you most likely. So don't be afraid to send those cold emails um, or have um, your advisor or um, existing mentor introduce you um, and do the same thing. Tell them that you're an eager graduate student, you're really interested in their work and that you'd love to help them write up and publish um, some of their data if they need help with that. And lastly, this is the thing that I want to really end on um, that I think is the most important and personally what I think is the key to my success in publishing so much is letting go of perfection. I know that sometimes we feel like our writing, anything needs to be pristine and perfect or just everything needs to be perfect. But what I've learned through publishing all of these manuscripts is first of all, the manuscript that you kind of start with is never what it looks like once it's actually in press and published. And I think that's just because it goes through so many people reviewing it, all your co-authors, your mentor, then it goes through review, who knows how many reviewers are gonna give you feedback and ask you to change stuff. So with that, there's really no point in trying to get it perfect at like the very start because so much is going to change through that kind of peer review process. So I've learned that, you know, just write the manuscript, do the best you can without having to strive to get everything to be perfect. And then just sort of let it, let it, let it go, let it through the review process and um, see what happens. And that can kind of take away some of the anxiety, maybe some of the writer's block of having to make everything perfect. And that perfection does slow down the process of um, you getting things ready and getting things submitted. Um, for review as well. Um, so I think that also has really helped. You know, I feel like when I send things to people like my mentors to review, I, I even tell them, I'm like, you know, this is a draft. This please provide, you know, higher level comments. Don't wordsmith it yet. Like I, I tell them this isn't a perfect draft. And that also helps with me getting feedback in a more timely manner. Um, so, you know, Good luck. I know that uh, first author manuscripts are very important. Um, you know, they, uh, it is a metric that everyone worries about in academia. Um, but just know that you will publish. You don't necessarily need a ton of publications to get into a graduate program. But once you're in a graduate program, um, as long as you take the initiative, you will find yourself and opportunities where you will be writing papers because there's so much there's so much um, out there um, and there's a lot of data that um, is waiting to be written up so um, and they're they're just waiting for you to come by and start um, writing up and get it published so don't worry the opportunities are out there you just have to find them and take the initiative and really find the right mentors who will be great um, and leading you um, and mentoring you through that process. So thank you um, and you know, happy writing. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you on another episode of Office Hours with Jess.